Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. I'm Taquin, and this is probably going to be my last Destiny 2 video until the beta or whenever we get more Destiny 2 info, like maybe E3 or something. So, regular content will be resuming after this. Thank you very much for all the support on these last few videos, uh, and welcome to all of the new subscribers. We actually just passed 40k, uh, which I did not expect <laughs> to hit that quickly, so uh, thank you all for feeling that my videos are worthy of your subscription. It really means a lot. Thank you. All right, so moving on to the video. So subclasses in Destiny 2 have gone under a lot of reworking, uh, and each one seems to have a distinct supportive defensive or offensive ability, depending on the subclass. I really like how powerful and unique these new special abilities appear to be. It's giving each class and subclass even more of a different feel and role than we had before. And it becomes even more apparent in the PvP scene. Uh, but do keep in mind that all of these are subject to change. All of the footage captured at the event was running off of an alpha or pre-alpha build. So briefly before I get started, I'd like to thank Hush and Holtzman for allowing me to use some of their clips of the Warlock and Hunter abilities. Links to their channels will be in the description below. So I was looking at a discussion between a couple Bungie multiplayer designers and community members on Twitter about these new subclass abilities, and it seems like their roles are very intentional and deliberate. In this video, I just wanted to quickly go over and briefly analyze all of the new special class abilities for the Dawnblade, Striker, and Gunslinger subclasses. Starting off with Dawnblade, we have the Rift ability. This is a very clear-cut support ability, and in my opinion, is probably the most powerful new special ability that we know of. Uh, which kind of bums me out because I'm not a huge fan of playing as a Warlock. Don't have anything against them, I just don't enjoy playing as them. So what is the Rift? Uh, well, like three of these known special abilities, it's a perk that serves a couple different functions depending on what you select in your subclass. You have one or two options, the Healing Rift or the Empowering Rift. When activated, you're going to throw down an Overwatch Soldier 76-esque area of effect rift on the ground that will affect you and your allies as long as you are within the radius. The Healing Rift, like it sounds, provides constant healing and if you're actually at full health, it will give you an overshield. In my opinion, this is probably the best option out of the two uh, because the health and shield regeneration is really slowed down in Destiny 2, so it's a very powerful option to be able to place a healing area for you and your teammates. You can really see how good it is in this clip when Hush uh, manages to win this 1v3 situation by putting down that rift uh, and allowing his shields to keep on regenerating while he just like absolutely decimates these guys. So the other option is the Empowering Rift, which increases the attack power of those inside it. Now, I didn't get to try this, or I, I didn't see anyone using it either, so I'm not exactly sure how effective the damage boost actually is, uh, though I imagine it would be along the same lines uh, sort of as Weapons of Light from Destiny 1. The, the Dawnblade's Rift ability is super powerful. If nothing about it is changed, it's going to be invaluable in PvE and PvP. Moving on to the Striker special ability, which I would definitely classify as defensive, is the Barricade. Now the Barricade is a wall of light that you can summon to act as cover for you and your teammates. Like the other abilities, there are two options. There's Towering Barricade, and there's Rally Barricade. Using the Towering Barricade, it forms a barrier taller than your Guardian, and is wide enough to fit maybe two or three Guardians side by side. Uh, it acts as a strong, you know, general cover with no added perks, you can just deploy it wherever you want. Uh, but after taking enough damage, it will shatter eventually. The Rally Barricade, on the other hand, is a little more interesting. Uh, when used, it creates a similar barricade, but it is only about, I'd say, waist height. Uh, it allows you to take cover and also ADS with your weapon to peek over and fire. What's even more neat is that when you unscope and stop looking over the barrier, it will automatically reload your equipped weapon, which is really neat. Uh, this seems like, I don't know, I feel like it would really excel in PvE. Uh, but from my experience in PvP, the Towering Barrier is just much more useful than the Rally one. Next up, the last two special abilities that we're going to be talking about are in the Gunslinger subclass. Now, unlike the Dawnblade and the Striker's abilities, which serve as sort of powerful support and defensive options, the Gunslinger's ability is a purely solo uh, action. It doesn't really assist teammates, and it serves to, this from a Bungie employee by the way, I'm sort of paraphrasing though, help the hunter break the front lines and get more kills. So the hunter's ability is a roll dodge. This is sort of akin to shade step, but much, much less spammy. Uh, once used, it has a considerable cooldown. It's not just one or two seconds. I believe it takes like upwards of 15 or more seconds, something like that. So the first one is called Marksman's Dodge. When you use it, you're gonna do a cool little dodging animation, which is really cool by itself. 
um, but what it'll also do is reload your equipped weapon. This is going to be super helpful uh, when you're in 1v2 or 1v3 situations in PvP, uh, or serve as a nice boost to DPS and sort of PvE as well. The second one is called Gambler's Dodge, which reads, Dodging while near enemies regenerates melee energy. I haven't used this ability or really seen it being used, so I, I really can't speak to its effectiveness, but based on the functionality of the Marksman's Dodge, it will most likely be more useful than the Gambler's Dodge. So, those are the new special class abilities that we know of. We haven't seen what the Sentinel or Arc Striders have, uh, but hopefully we'll be able to find out soon. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, leaving a like would be massively appreciated. Like I said in the intro, this is going to be my last Destiny 2 video until we get more info, either E3 or the beta. Uh, so regular Destiny and Halo content is going to be resuming. So thank you everybody so much for watching as always. Thank you so much for all the support on these recent videos. And welcome to all you new subscribers. I will see you next time.